Hey, what's going on guys? <clears throat> I want to give you a, uh, an update on the car and the truck as well as I mentioned that I got the flu which sucks and uh, I was gonna hold off for a couple days with no videos, but I've consistently put a video up every day since I don't even know when it's got to be uh, Over a year. I mean I used to put up two or three videos a day way back when um, But then I got married, you know, I have, I have things to do <laughs> But I still love YouTube and I, I still want to put at least a video up every day <sighs> but anyway, I think I got sick from someone at Walmart because I'm the only person in my family that didn't get sick And I'm the only person that went to Walmart and up going there to get some coolant Because I had a leak in my radiator on the truck. That's right. We'll talk about that in just a moment but Right now you guys know that the grill broke from that Hawk hitting the car Or I guess me hitting the Hawk however you want to look at it uh, It happens. I know a lot of people by the way were uh, a little concerned about reporting the incident I did in fact report the incident the day it happened uh, I have not forgotten the incident with the squirrels. If you haven't, if you don't know about that, I'm sure someone will explain it. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I did when I got home after I made that video was I called the uh, Pennsylvania Game Commission, and uh, I talked to them, and the body was disposed of properly and legally. Stuff when stuff like that happens, you, you, they have to make sure that none of the body parts are taken, because it would be tempting for people to take the claws, you know, or maybe the head or the the wings or something the feathers and and sell them or use them you know for stuff and it's just it's illegal it's just how it is so it was properly done legally done so it's not an issue it's it's long gone now but anyway the grill was broken i ended up getting a replacement grill you'll see what that looks like when i put it on um i will say that i'm very very happy with the uh the price on it, it wasn't as expensive as i thought it was about 200 bucks oh less than 200 bucks i ended up getting it from jc whitney um, just goes to show it's worth checking around for prices, you know, price shop. Uh, some places were asking like 100 or even 150 to $200 more for the exact same part. So, it, you know, it, it should go without saying, but when you're buying anything, car parts, knives, zippos, whatever, shop around, get the best price you possibly can. So, um, you know, it's not nothing. It, it was still expensive in my opinion, but it, it could have been way more expensive. So, anyway, let's walk over and talk about the truck a little bit. First thing I want to show you is the hood ornament. <laughs> so happy for my, my Gus hood ornament there. Actually, it's Mac. Mac truck, Bulldog. So yeah, that's mounted on there. All right. So, I took a trip to my uh, family. Uh, my family's house, I should say. It's over an hour away. Um, I was going to take the car. I was a little worried about the grill. I thought, you know what, I got the truck fixed up, why not take the truck, right? Makes sense, everything should be working fine. Well, when I got there, everything was fine, and then when I started up the truck again um, to go out, um, actually it was my brother-in-law, Vinny, he noticed that it was leaking underneath. And I looked at it, the second I looked at it, I knew it was coolant. Uh, it's just that, I mean, I happen to use like a bright neon greenish yellow coolant there. You can clearly see that's what it was, so I was looking down here, and... I saw that it was leaking right here okay this connection point so I tried tightening it wasn't really working it was still leaking pretty bad I thought maybe like an o-ring inside got busted or a seal or something like that so I ended up going to a mechanics I went to a Jack Williams which is really just a tire shop they don't do extensive work or anything but they did they were able to uh, look at it they did a pressure test and it was showing that it was leaking a bunch of different places it was leaking three different spots in the the third spot was the actual tank itself, so I had to get it replaced. So there's a brand new radiator. <sighs> That's not something I was prepared to to buy right away, but I, I needed it. I wanted to safely get home. I had Gus and my wife in the, the truck as well. It wasn't just me. I didn't want to break down on the highway with the dog. It would have been a huge pain in the ass. So, yeah, I just kind of bit the bullet, and I had him install a, uh, a new radiator. So I have a new radiator now, which is great. Fantastic. It's one of those things that, you know, I just kind of had to do. Uh, I suppose I could have just patched it up, but I couldn't confidently, you know, drive home. I guess it's something that had to be done eventually anyway. So, so slowly but surely, all the freaking parts in this truck are getting replaced, which is not a bad thing. I just, you know, it's a lot of money. It's hard taking care of, you know, a few different vehicles. Um, this truck is supposed to be... You know here to help me out on those uh those few winter days where the car just won't let me get around you know what i mean that's why i got the truck it's a fun vehicle for me it's an enjoyable vehicle to slowly fix up and stuff like that um you know but i am going to rely on it a little bit this winter 
and so I have to make sure it's right. Um, but I do understand, you know, it's an old vehicle, and things are going to continuously happen to it. Uh, it's not like a big shock to me. You know, I understand I'm going to constantly put money into it. It will be a money pit, but I do understand that, and I, I took that on when I bought the truck, you know what I mean? So it's not a surprise to me. It's not like, oh, boo-hoo, you know, this sucks. It is what it is. I'm really, I'm okay with it. I wasn't prepared to do that right away, but things happen, and you got to take care of your business. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, also, I, wa I really wanted to get a tonneau cover. Tonneau, I don't know how it's pronounced, uh, for the back to get the, to keep the bed uh, covered up for the winter time. But, uh, unfortunately, because the tailgate doesn't work, I can't use one of those since they lock shut. I wouldn't be able to open the tailgate in order to unlock the, the cover. So I end up getting one of these hitch pole things. Uh, it's basically just a tarp. It's really just used to keep your, your stuff dry. Uh, if I'm going to use this in the winter, I think I have to make some kind of a framework that goes across some kind of like a skeletonized body so it has stability because there's no way this is going to hold any kind of weight with snow sitting on top of it. Now right now it's all loosened up and stuff. It's not on here tight, but when I do, you know, strap this properly because I just took everything out of the trunk or the trunk, the, uh, the bed, so it's all sloppy and loose in the back. Uh, but when this is on here properly, it is nice and taut across. But again, I don't, it's not going to support any kind of weight from snow. Uh, but I did want the option to keep any kind of cargo I have in there nice and dry, especially if, again, I'm traveling, I have bags and stuff. Um, you know, my cases are waterproof, but like, you know, my clothes bags and stuff are just duffel bags. So I don't want them getting wet. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. You will see a video in the future when I do get the exhaust done eventually. I want to get the windshield fixed first. So I'm gonna have to hold off on the exhaust. I gotta do the important stuff before I do the fun stuff. Um, but when the time does come for that, I will do a before and after video so you can hear the difference and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm noticing now I need to fill up the radiator fluid. I put this tape here to show the line. But driving home, obviously the system was still getting burped. Some air was coming out of it. So I gotta top that off and I gotta put on the, the new grill. So let me get to it and I will get back to you when I'm all done and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, well, finally done, 40 minutes later. The whole thing should really probably take about 10 minutes to do. It was pretty straightforward on what to do. It's just the entire perimeter on the bottom of the grill has to line up with the bumper. And they're basically these aluminum cheap clips that, that fall into slots, right? And the biggest issue there is that um, they're cheaply made. So, and this is a, an OEM grill, so it's not like it's an aftermarket thing that's cheap. It, the original grill was the same. And if you don't line up thing, everything perfectly and you force something, it's going to snap, it's going to break. So it was a lot of finagling and fiddling around. And, you know, you get like one side in and the other side doesn't line up. So you got to take it out and you try the other side and then this side doesn't line up. Huge pain. But anyway, it's done with. Uh, I'm happy it's all over with. I don't foresee hitting any, anything else in the near future. You know, knock on wood. Um, now I just need some, some Pennsylvania bug guts all over that grill to match the rest of the front end. And I'll be good to go. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care.